Human life is an experience, what we call human life, and it's one of an infinite number of potential experiences within infinite possibility. We are at our core infinite possibility. Um, and that's the basis of everything. I, some people call it infinite love, it, infinite possibility, infinite potential. Um, but within that infinite potential are different potentials, different experiences that can be had. And this is just one of them. This is, this is a, if you like, a, a, a massive cosmic computer game that allows consciousness to have a certain kind of experience. But within infinity are endless other um, virtual reality universes which offer very different experiences. And for whatever reason, and sometimes you go, I would never have made this decision, I'd have never have made this choice, um, we have chosen to be here. Because there's no one with an AK-47 on some other dimension saying, get in that body or I shoot. We've come here for an experience. The, the, the thing is, that which made the decision made it from a massively expanded point of awareness and that which is experiencing the decision is actually experiencing it from a much narrower perspective of awareness and that's why people say I would never have agreed to do this well that didn't that did and um, one of the really major parts of this experience in this virtual reality universe is that it gives an experience of a sense of everything being apart from everything else a sense of I am me you are you and this space between us and everything is like individual and not connected um, because in our true state of awareness we realize that everything is connected and we are all one consciousness I am you you are me I am everything and everything is me and that's the same with everyone and once you you lose that sense of connection that sense of everything being an expression of everything else then you start and you get caught in the apartness uh, perception that's when division and conflict can start to break out us them domination over them when they are you and you are they but this reality at this time has lost that understanding of everything being connected one of the sad consequences of having the nature of self and reality systematically suppressed is that life can become a race um, it's like there was an advertisement on British television uh, a few years ago um, it, for some product or other and it had a baby being born at one end and then it flew like a, 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 a missile right the way through life and then it, it, you know, it grew up, it went to school, got to work, got married, had children, became granddad and then bang at massive speed um, went into the grave at the other end and in so many ways um, people are in this race when if we take a step back and we realize that this is just an infinitesimal experience within infinite experience infinite life which is what we are infinite awareness then we can we can relax a lot more and just enjoy, as you rightly say I couldn't agree more enjoy the experience and realize that and I found this in my life that some of the worst experiences in the moment have been some of the greatest gifts that I've had uh, I have this phrase um, life gives you your greatest gifts often brilliantly disguised as your worst nightmare and if we take everything to be an experience and then we move on to other experiences it, it, it stops us getting too caught emotionally and in every other way in one particular experience just an experience learn from it move on we live forever the key experience um, we're having at the moment collectively 
is if you give your power away to others, I'm little me, I've got no power, you give it away to authority figures, to politicians, to doctors, to scientists, then something happens. You have no power. And you give the power to the few to dictate your life. And this is what's happened in every country in the world. The mass of the population gives its power away to authority figures of many and various kinds. The authorities then, the few, dictate to the many. The big lesson I would suggest that we're being, we're having put in front of our face at this moment, humans collectively, is take your power back and you take control of your life back. Give it away, someone else gets that control. And this is the decision, the, cro the, the fork in the road that we're at now. Are we going to keep going, giving our power away to the few? In other words, in, in which case we're going to live in a global Orwellian fascist dictatorship within 10 years? Or are we going to take our power back, in which case that control system will fall? The key word for me is responsibility. Responsibility is the word that holds the key to whether we take our power back or whether we give it away. Humans have been programmed and encouraged to look for someone else to blame all the time. I'm in this state because of you, because of this, because of that. And what that's saying is, I'm not in control of my life. They are, he is, she is, that is, this circumstance is, I'm not. When, when you, you take your responsibility back and you say, OK, I'm going to take responsibility for the situation I'm in, that is saying, I have power to control my own life and my reality. Because I, have, I take responsibility for what's happened and happening, I can then take that responsibility and change what is happening because the power's here. And humanity tends to want to give power away to others, to politicians, to authority figures, um, because in a way it's, it's their fault that I'm in this state. The few can only control the many because the many have allowed it to happen. We are responsible and we need to take that responsibility if we're going to change it. And one of that key areas of responsibility is get informed. Welcoming the outside Skin becomes a sponge 
Oh, come on. 